This is the Legion solar system install. And it's uh, it's currently uh, probably about 3.15 in the afternoon. Um, I've got some other videos on what I ordered and why I ordered it. Basically this is a starter set and an expansion set and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, doing the actual install. Um, you can see that this is actually a, not a, a bad time of the day to be looking at all of this. This is the south facing roof and the plan is to start on uh, this end which is the, the east end of the roof and then we can uh, extend over through there but you can see that we've got uh, shade from this tree here that's going to affect that in the roof a little bit more and then um, we've got shade from this tree here that's going to affect us more and more as we go into winter but the four panels that I've got are right here um, the rails that I got I ended up getting about 125 inches of rail um, a few things I want to, to point out uh, I got the the easy mount roof mounts and there you can see how they're set up and then uh, the rails uh, I did not mount it flush with the roof on the top and the bottom the correct angle for what I needed it to be at my latitude is a little bit more steep than the roof is itself so I actually have temporarily just supported the upper rails with some angle aluminum um, I'm going to be coming up with a better solution for this that will actually attach it because obviously it has to be attached on the top and the bottom um, whenever all is said and done and this particular solution is certainly in no way permanent or good enough. Um, my original plan was to mount these panels so that I could actually change the angle on them over the course of the year um, so that I would have a, a summer angle, a, a spring and a fall angle, and a winter angle. Um, and whenever I had set it up to do that, I actually had the panels lifted off of the roof on the bottom by about uh, 8 to, to 12 inches. Um, you can see that uh, they were actually, at one point, they were lifted off by, by that distance, which is, uh, that right there's about 12 inches. Um, and so, originally I had that piece of uh, angle aluminum down here on the bottom connected from the L bracket and then it came up like so and then the the rail actually sat up here um, what I found out though I found out a few things um, I started out by discovering that uh, the one inch angle aluminum that I was using uh, just wasn't uh, I didn't have it mounted right and it just wasn't strong enough against the rails so I switched to one and a half inch uh, aluminum angle and what I ended up uh, figuring out on that is that these rails right here are not actually strong enough to handle uh, the weight and uh, the rail itself was actually flexing and even now um, I don't know if I'll be able to show this very well with the angle but even now um, it actually uh, can't quite hold it perfectly flat um, if you if you look down through there hopefully you can see that it's actually sagging down in the center and so it's even now having issues and that's obviously not a good thing um, so that really has to be dealt with now if we look at the the top one the top one is doing better um, but the bottom one is actually 
sagging down a, a fair amount in the center. A um, couple of other things that that uh, I will point out: um, the end clamps, they they like to angle off in this direction, and so it's kind of it's not super easy to get them on there uh, the way that you want them on there. And for the mid clamps, they put some uh, blue Loctite on the bolts, and you have to be really careful because um, it's on there pretty good, and I actually ended up uh, breaking one of them, and I broke off the the bottom part of the mid clamp there, and so that one is actually going to have to be replaced. So um, I've got uh, a re replacement on order for that. Uh, but that's basically the way that the install looks, and I am happy enough with things. Uh, the maximum per so uh, each of these sets of two should be capable of about 300 watts. So I should have about 600 watts total production capacity here. Um, keeping in mind that it's currently uh, October 3rd or 4th, uh, so it's certainly not in the middle of summer. Um, today I actually saw. 511 watts of uh, peak production. Um, right now we're down around uh, 300 or so um, with the, the sun in its current location. Um, these do not have any uh, battery commanders on them. Um, so basically they're just uh, wired up together and then the uh, electrical cord, I just have it running down through there for right now. And it's just plugging into an outlet um, as the the uh, number of panels increases obviously we're gonna have to do something different with that but uh, this is the uh, first two sets and uh, hopefully you got uh, something a little bit out of that you can see that what I chose to do is I chose to, to uh, start the panels in uh, about two inches give or take a little bit and the first set of roof mounts is actually in from the end of the panels here so I didn't put it on the, the very very end and I'm really glad that I at least did that um, in light of uh, how well those rails do with handling the weight um, so if I were going to be adding more uh, hint hint uh, I would actually probably put in more of the roof mounts so that the, the span length on the rails is not as long as it is on uh, these first couple. Uh, but right here, whenever you look at, at these two end mounts, you can kind of get a, a feel for how they like to, to lean in. Um, but anyway, this is uh, the first little bit of setup for it. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get them answered for you if I can, but uh, that's what we got going so far.